Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the Studio Series 90 Galvatron from the movie Transformers Age of Extinction. So yeah, this is the second release of a Galvatron like this. The first one was a big uh, shell former that I really hated so much I didn't even take it in my collection. So I got this one instead. <laughs> so yeah, box got ice heart, blah blah, 32 steps, eh, okay-ish. Uh, backdrop, blah blah. Yeah, it's just a box, so let's stop wasting time. <laughs> and yep, we got the backdrop. Instructions. So backdrop is uh what is it the Chinese market in the in the city. Yeah. We have uh legal stuff nobody reads, instructions. Transformation is uh somewhat easy, so I didn't really need it. Oh yeah. Oh once this is the other side, so this is the second part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have the uh, transformation or uh, gun storage. Yep. And we have, again here, the first couple of steps. So yeah, like I guess the transformation is not that complicated, so you won't probably need it. So, yeah. We have the figure right here. And first up we have his add-ons uh, weapons, which are all weirdly packed into uh, this uh, paper bag thing. Just gonna rip it off. So we have the missile and we have the cannon. Can we open it up? Yeah. So yeah, probably they, they couldn't <laughs> put the uh, weapon storage normally in the package, so they just stuff it in paper. So we have his cannon, which is really small compared to the original one in the movie. It's like a huge cannon. Like it's, this is just like a small hand thing. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, chrome looking metallic. And unfortunately it only goes on one hand, like this one. Uh, I really would have preferred if we could like, you know, switch hand maybe. But yeah, but yeah, it just looks so tiny, tiny, tiny. I know the uh, first release of Galvatron had like a huge cannon that, that, that go with it and that was pretty fine so yeah. And we have the missiles. Now the missiles in robot mode they, they don't have any use so to store them you have you open this up and you have like this peg inside so you can just take this and peg it in like this and then you peg it for this. So there you go we have Galvi and uh, yeah he is a uh, Yes, okay, ish. I like there's a nice uh, metallic paint. View, very few blue detail and copper here. The head looks nice, but I I saw a comparison with the old one and I think I preferred the old one's head. This one looks, I don't know, a little bit small and on detail. But yeah, the head can only swivel left and right. Uh, the arms can only swivel like this and swivel like this. Rotation of the bicep, uh, double jointed elbow, nothing at the wrist. Waist rotation, uh, leg split like this. Leg forward, backward. We do have ab crunch like this. Uh, we do have a small rotation of the upper thigh. The knee bends more than 90 degrees. And the ankle can move uh, a little bit backward, but mostly sideways. sideways. But uh, yeah, it's very limited. <laughs> Back cleans up fairly nice. One of my problem, well, there's a couple of problems. Like the, the wheels here doesn't peg; they're pretty loose. The backpack here doesn't hold too much, but uh, okay, it fits. But my main problem is like it feels like squared here. You can see the backpack is like super squared in the back. So that that's my main problem. It looks weird for this. But it's still way better than the first release. <laughs> so yeah, the back yeah, it needs really a lot of paint, but yeah, it's just a back. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, comparison real quick, we have here my trusty deluxe hoist from Earthrise. And this is deluxe, this is a uh, another liter of Voyager. So yeah, not a lot of size difference, you know? Maybe a head taller. So yeah. <laughs> now we could do, uh, go with the transformation real quick. Uh, first, we remove the weapon. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so we remove the weapon, remove the missiles from the torso. Oh, this one is also stuck to. There you go. So yeah, you can leave the torso open like this. 
you can take the arm, straighten them down, and rotate them on the other side and bring them forward like this and uh, just put them like this. So rotate the arm, bring them back like this. Unpeg this and now you freed the head which will go inside here and you can peg this up like this and now you can bring the arms like this inside and make sure like the top of the shoulder, the, the, the spikes go inside here. So like this, make sure, and then you can bring the arms together like this. So you have this config now. Next up, you can bring this over like this, bring this down and tap this in, tap this in like this, make this forward like this, unpeg the legs here like this, bring it forward. You can unfold the wheels, unfold the wheel, like this. Now you have these panels stuck in and behind the wheel, so you can flip them open. Flip them open. And then you have to rotate them forward like this. And spin them around like this. It helps if you bend the leg. So like this, bend the leg, rotate them around like this. And then you can bring them up and over like this. And the peg right here will peg inside the front of the cab. But this is like my main problem because it goes always too far for nothing. Like there you go. And yeah, it unpegs really easy. So just hold it like this. Same thing on the other side. Close this in. Bring this down. Bring this down. This will eventually tab in. There you go. Now you have uh, this gun fig. Uh, you can take the front bumper, bring it all the way down, and you have like these pegs on the wheel, which will peg onto this bar right here. There you go. So we have this gun fig now. Next up, you bring the foot down on full wheel this and then you split the fit the feet open like this you can tab those in to each other like this and like this and then you just flip it open like this and voila you have this config next up flip this open flip this open and uh, we're pretty much done. Just make sure like these panel needs to be tabbed in and you can see they really don't cooperate a lot. Either they go too much in or they just don't tab really perfectly in like this. So look, pretty much all done now. So there we go. Oh wait, the feet can just flip up open. And yeah, we're done. Uh, the feet here really enters the uh, vehicle mode. It looks so ugly. I mean, what it is. Yeah, it's just huge and doesn't have any use. Uh, the missiles can plug onto the side right here, kind of like in the movie. So you have the missile right here, or you can store it underneath here. We'll unpack this, like this, like this, and you have like this sort of square notch which will peg onto this one here. So, whoop, like this, drop it in, there you go. And then you can close this back in, there you go. And as for the cannon, you have sort of a notch in the feet here that uh, you need to peg this in here. And this is going to be a little bit hard to do, but uh, let's try it. So this goes like this. Oops. There. Maybe I can flip this. Yeah, flip this down. You can take the gun, cannon hand, press it in here, and then clip. Drop this down. There you go. So let's go. It goes like that. So there we go. We have Galvatron in vehicle mode. And yeah, not a lot of thing pegs into com completely together. We have this flap which sort of hides the arms, which is not that great. This thing right here is an abomination. What it is, I don't know. <laughs> Just feet sticking out like this. It's really ugly. I wish we could like maybe like uh, press them down over the wheels would have looked better I guess but uh, 
Yeah, it does uh, roll, I guess. It's uh, That's it. That's, that's the only feature it has in truck mode. And, uh, yeah. It's uh, still pretty decent, I guess, compared to the first one. I mean, the first one was just a part, uh, a shell former uh, horrible. But this one at least has lots more uh, moving parts. But then we have, like, this that sticks out, which is... Uh, so, yeah, it's not a big recommend for me. Galvatron Robot still looks really square for the stomach, has lots of hollow, hollow parts in the arms mostly, but it still looks way better than the other one. It just lacks details like paint job and this thing just likes to pop out. Yeah, but yeah, the truck mode suffers a lot because of this part to me. The rest is not that bad. Except the parts that doesn't want to stick in for no reason. But, <laughs> yeah, again, these just don't peg much anywhere. I mean, there's a tiny peg here, but it doesn't hold too much. And we still have gappage. But, uh, eh, like I said, it's not a perfect, perfect vehicle for me. There you go. It's not a high recommend, only if you're maybe a fan or you just want to replace your original Gavatron. It's, it sure is better than the old one, but... Not perfect, so yeah. <laughs> At least now I have a Galvatron because I didn't have it in my collection. But uh, yeah, I do love the Bayverse look. I'm quite of the rare few who actually like likes the look of the Bear Bayverse. But yeah, the that that toy is not perfect. There, there's there's like the, the the third party one that is amazing, but it looks it's not it's not affordable. So yeah, I'm relying on this one for now. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for me. Not a high recommend. Still a decent one, better than the old one, but still uh, room for improvement. So yeah, that's pretty much it. pretty much for me. So you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.